Uh, hi, good morning, or good afternoon. Um, I'm going to present uh, the work that we had developed uh, for a human phenotype gene relations data set, and also the challenges that we aim to tackle now in, the, in this plot. Uh, so uh, the motivation is uh, about the same as the previous speaker. Uh, so we want to know uh, which phenotypes are associated with certain genes, and we need to go through biomedical literature to uh, have the, that information. The problem with, the, with that is that we have a lot of uh, literature, and if you are interested in more than one uh, pair or one relation, you have to go through many articles to derive meaningful information. So, and most of this information is unstructural and heterogeneous, and takes a lot of time. So the problem with um, relation extraction is that uh, the biomedical relation extraction schemes are scarce and limited, mostly because they are made for specific relations uh, and are, it do not generalize well. And uh, the problem here is there is a lack of non-notated data sets, both in English and other languages. So uh, what we did already was a silver standard corpus where we used the uh, tools that we previously develop, lab developed to annotate uh, uh, genes and phenotypes. Uh, so, and you, we use a gold standard, standard knowledge base provided by the human phenotype ontology uh, that uh, has the, the genes uh, and, the relation, and, and their relations to phenotypes. Uh, and from that, uh, this is a simple distance supervision uh, technique, um, and we were not expecting, but we got uh, quite good results, and mostly because we only mine abstracts, and in abstracts it's more, uh, most of the sentences that contain relations are affirmative, and so it's normal to have good results. But we, um, since then, identified several problems, uh, and we want to, to expand this data set, uh, the first problem is um, even if a gene is related to a phenotype in the knowledge base, um, we have examples where the relation is not, uh, um, is not in the sentence. So here we have to uh, distinguish between true and false relations. Um, and then uh, after we do these distinctions, if we have a true relation, uh, we have to uh, to distinguish between positive and negative relations, uh, which is also another problem. And finally, uh, if we are able to do that, we have to, we have known relations that are in the knowledge base, and we have unknown relations that test as false positives uh, that are not in the knowledge base, but they could be. Um, so this is the pipeline uh, we want to be able to uh, use our uh, data set and uh, go through these three stages in order to have a true uh, data set and a well annotated data set. Um, the no, uh, yeah. So to, um, we propose uh, using semina semantic similarity measures uh, to um, check if an unknown relation has the potential to be a known relation. And other improvements that could be done were gr uh, grasp multiple word entities. That we had a problem with that in the phenotypes. Um, and uh, also our data set uh, partial or partially curated by uh, biochemistry. And uh, it curated uh, of, our, of our total almost 8,000 relations, it curated 2,389 relations. Uh, this, uh, um, in these relations, he found out other problems uh, and ambiguities. Some problems are easy to fix and others are not. Uh, and mostly the problems uh, are related to name entity recognition of genes. Uh, and uh, what happens uh, frequently is that uh, a gene is confused uh, for another, another thing like a medical term or a molecular compound. Uh, and this happens because mm, proteins and genes, uh, for instance, share the same names. And even if you have uh, and th that we have manually verified our annotations, we don't have the expertise, the enough expertise to know if it is um, a protein 
or if it is a gene, for instance. Uh, so um, we like to make this distinguish uh, distinguish between all these uh, ambiguities, if if possible. Uh, that's a thing that we want to explore, and we are we have this. Uh, uh, partially data set to evaluate our progress. So that's it.